Hey everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Golden Goose Superstar, how it wears. I've had these for about four years and I've had these for about three years. And then also we'll talk a little bit about the Golden Goose Charlie boot, which I've had for about five years as well. And I just want to talk a little bit about how um, they've been holding up for me over the last few years. I know that the Superstar are really, really hot and they already come worn looking. So I just wanted to talk about whether or not they look more worn after you've been wearing them for several years and whether or not I would purchase them again. So I'm gonna start with my favorite pair out of all of these, which are the leopard print shoes. They have the red glittery star on the sides of them. Um, and then on the very back, the black logo is like a patent leather. One thing to keep in mind, if you are gonna get the Superstar sneakers is they are made of leather, so they don't look like it um when you're looking online shopping but they are really really heavy for sneakers they're not going to be like a pair of nikes or adidas that are made with lightweight material these are really really heavy shoes on the feet uh they also have a lift in the back so they look like they're flat sneakers but in the back there's going to be um, a little bit of a lift uh probably about half an inch or so and so your foot is going to be more like this instead of flat on the ground. So you will be putting more weight on the ball of your foot when you're wearing these shoes. So something to keep in mind if you've got like a sensitive foot that um, there's going to be more weight distribution there. The shoe, because it leans forward, looks cuter in my opinion on the foot. So it is one of the things that I like about the shoe. Um, these ones are a little bit gunky inside in the insoles just because I do have um, insoles that I put on top of these. So if you are thinking that you are gonna take this insole out and put your own insole in, I wouldn't recommend it because of the way that the shoe is built. This top portion is going to dig into your foot and be extremely uncomfortable. So if you're gonna put insoles, they have to go on top. Even though I put insoles in these, I still take the shoes true to size. So I wear a 38 in both of the superstars that I have and they fit perfectly. So I would definitely go true to size on these shoes. Whereas your Charlie boot, I took a full size um, bigger. I took a 39, but we'll talk about these more towards the end of the video. So as we were saying, the Superstar definitely has a worn look to it. You can see on the toe, it's really worn looking. Um, it's kind of faded in different areas of the shoe. Uh, also along the white portion is going to be really, really worn. One thing I like because the Leopard is very like orange colored, it really matches the base. Whereas if you bought a brand new shoe, this would be white and it would be a huge like juxtaposition of coloring. Um, I've worn these a ton. I've had them for, I don't know, four-ish years now. And you can see the bottom of them look so good for being worn all the time. Um, and none of the sides have peeled off either. I know like if you guys wear Vans and stuff, the corners will peel off when you are constantly stepping like this. And these ones have actually stayed attached, which is really, really nice um, as well because they are pricey shoes and they have little knots at the end of the shoelace. And these knots kind of help the the bow when you tie them stay together. So one side's purposely undone and the other one has a, a uh, knot on it. So when you tie them together, it kind of holds, holds it so that they don't come undone because the laces are really short on these shoes. Like even this much is too much lace that will be left over when I wear them. And I'll insert um, a clip of me wearing them here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about a little bit better. So these are the one golden goose pair. I wear a ton, a ton, a ton. Every weekend I wear these. 
Um, I will say these are definitely my husband's least favorite shoes. He hates that I bought expensive shoes that already come worn looking. Um, and I do think that they look a lot better on in person on your foot than they do um, when you're shopping online and looking at them from a photo. These ones I bought and they are white so they do look a lot cleaner than the other golden goose do the other golden goose are a lot more worn looking than these these have like a few fake scuffs on the side nothing crazy i would say the toe is the part that looks the most worn um, which i kind of appreciate that they're not super worn looking because they are white sneakers um, the tongues are really really soft when these came out they came out in a pink version and a blue version and then you can see the bottom i don't wear these pretty much ever uh, just because I feel like with the fur they're winter shoes but they're white so they're not really winter shoes so they just don't get worn I also for some reason find these a lot stiffer than the leopard pair so the leopard pair is my go-to and you can see on the bottom of these even though I don't wear them they are a bit dirtier on the bottom however they do not have any significant wear so that's pretty good And these are also true to size. Um, another really cool thing is on the tongue. It says for skateboard, skateboard use only. The white pair doesn't have anything, I think probably because it's the skin. Um, they didn't put a tag on there for some reason. So if you're thinking about the Superstar, I really recommend it. Um, I probably wouldn't go for the fur and all white pair. I would go with something really fun. I think that's the benefit of these shoes is they're pretty crazy uh, and cool looking and you could get them with a whole bunch of glitter on them. Uh, and it's just um, kind of cute. I would definitely call these trendy, but because I've been wearing them for about four years and I think I'm gonna continue wearing them, I don't think that's too bad for a trendy pair of shoes. And then the last pair I want to talk about are my Charlie boots. I lusted over these shoes for quite a long time. I saw them on someone else and I thought they were the most perfect looking worn leather that I had seen in a pair of boots. Um, and this was the time when everyone was wearing Fry and that was kind of like your only option for not even higher end shoes, boots, but um, these were really, really cool looking. The leather on these is really nice. It's really, really thick. Um, it's pretty much the opposite of like my Louis Vuitton boots that are a thinner leather um, and very shiny. These are like really worn, really, really nice leather. It feels really, really good. I wish you guys could feel it through the computer screen. Um, however, I do not find these boots comfortable at all. I had to size up because I couldn't physically get my ankle through the through the ankle part this part of the shoe in order to get my foot in so I sized up a full size so I got these at a 39 and even without that they're not comfortable on the bottom they literally feel like I'm walking barefoot on the ground. So I took them to the cobbler trying to come up with a way that I could make them more comfortable. Um, and we added the non-slip soles to the bottom. And I was hoping that giving them a little bit more cushion would make them more comfortable, but they're just not comfortable at all. So I pretty much never ever wear these because if I have to walk literally, you know from the car to the restaurant that's too long wearing these these are really really uncomfortable for me um, if any of you guys had the Loeffler Randall boots sorry I probably mispronounced that that were really popular many moons ago those and these for me are on the same level of uncomfortableness um, I had those for a while and I barely wore them because I found them so uncomfortable. Also kind of like walking on the ground. So these pretty much just sit in my closet and collect dust, but I really like the leather on these. <laughs> it's very soft. Um, so I definitely regret purchasing these. I would not recommend them. I would definitely just stick to the Superstar sneakers and I would suggest getting them in a really fun pattern, something that you're going to enjoy wearing 
Um, and then I will also add some clips of styled outfits with all three of these pairs of shoes because I know they're a little bit loud. Um, it can be more difficult to style them or think of like, what would you even wear with them? Um, so thank you for watching and I will see you guys later. Mm -hmm.